Hey everybody, this is uh, Shmini's Kettle Corn here. I'm going to start selling cotton candy for the first time this weekend. And I prefer to actually sell it fresh, but they did not have electricity for the event. I'm going to be at a brewery this weekend, and I got four different flavors this weekend, and I decided to put them on the side of my table, and I'm going to do a combo deal where you can buy one cotton candy and a bag of popcorn for uh, $10, and then I decided to get four flavors, and I'm going to probably test out which ones are going to be more the most popular. But with that, I already have here um, the cherry berry, and this is what the cherry, the red cherry looks like, which is what I've been told is the most popular, anyways. And I also have here uh, the blue, the blueberry, and um, this is uh, the uh, no, yep, blue raspberry. And I've been told that these are the most two most popular flavors. So I'm going to actually set it up, and then I'm going to put them in. When I'm done actually setting the cotton candy up, I'm going to be putting them in these little containers here. Now, one of the things that I've been actually concerned about is the humidity in Maryland. I'm from California, so there's no humidity in California. So with that, with the heat, the, the sugar actually condenses and melts. And what I have been told is that eventually, on a hot day, the cotton candy will go from here down to here. And if it's deflated, people aren't going to want to buy it. I mean, it's still good. So at this point, Tomorrow is going to be 70 degrees during the day, so I believe that this will be the perfect day to actually sell cotton candy pre-made. So we're going to see how well we sell, um, if I can get my money back on this machine. Um, apparently, everybody's been telling me that cotton candy sells really, really well with kettle corn, so that's why I'm going to give this a try today. So here is the Econo Floss machine. I got it at gold metal for $950, and one of the things that I like about it is that it's very fast. It, it speeds up very fast. So you actually kind of got to go quickly when you actually cook the, the, the cotton candy. The other thing that I would like to probably recommend is eventually I got to figure out where I get those little plastic, those little glass bowls. And I was a little bummed that it didn't come with it. Of course, it's an extra add-on. So I eventually be planning on having an extra bowl with the cotton candy. So that way the cotton candy doesn't get everywhere. So here I'm going to turn it on. And now I'm going to actually turn it on and start figuring out which ones are going to be the best to actually sell. The other thing that I got here is these little paper sticks. Now, these little paper sticks I got for a package of 300 at, at, at my local gold metal dealer. And what I plan on doing is that I actually have been told that they actually have wooden sticks now that you can use to where you don't have to keep going through paper. So I'm going to actually look into that myself. I think the wooden stick idea is great. Then that way you just clean off the wooden stick when you're done. And then, and then also they even have, um, besides the containers they have these bags here from gold metal that are these clear jumbo bags and i'm debating of whether or not how much uh the one question that i have for the people in the comment section is how much do you charge for a bag like this i'm debating of whether or not to charge six dollars for a bag like this with one flavor and then maybe eight for two flavors or and then do a deal where if you buy two bags you buy two bags for ten again i do not know how well these will sell compared to these I think that personally the containers look better myself. After doing some research on YouTube and, and watching the videos, I, I've been debating that I think this is the best way to go. And for and I actually was in California and I saw a company selling them for uh, already made on a container on a shelf for for four fifty. So um, I will have to see how how they, how well they sell. And if not, then maybe I need to lower the price. Um, it all depends on what people will pay them for, and we'll go from there. There you go. It in. And then you automatically start seeing the candy that puts the clotting spin up. And eventually it takes practice, but you get used to it. It's like it's like riding a bicycle. Boom. There we go. All right. So fluffy. All right. What's up? So fluffy. I know. And it smells amazing. The thing that I'm always self-conscious about is that 
there's a little um, there's a little stick here that if you get too close to it, it'll just chop your fingers off. So that's why you gotta be careful. Um, oh yeah, you can turn it off after 30 seconds. It, it, the short is like 30 seconds. Oh, sorry. <laughs> yeah, you're good. You might have to cut that. Yeah, that's fine. Let's keep it, let's keep it in, um, like 30 seconds shorts. Okay. Like 50, yeah, there you go. The shorts have been um, really taken off. Wow, look how easy this is. All right, so we are done today. We have a tank container set up, uh, and it only took a little bit of this uh, cotton candy mix today. Uh, I used cherry berry. I'm going to go through all the flavors today throughout the day today, and um, it's, it smells great. And it and I have I tasted this before, and I, I'm I'm willing to bet that the two best flavors are the cherry berry and the, and the blue blueberry uh, raspberry. And I love the names. And with this, it's it's really easy to get started. For example, this is from what I believe that's this already mixed in the sugar with the appropriate measurements. There's actually a concentrated mix where it's a smaller container where you can actually mix your own, and you can even and I've even seen people on YouTube make their own flavors. Uh, and then there's also flavors that are really crazy, like banana and pina colada, and I don't know how they taste, but I'm I'm looking forward to tasting them. So this is what the machine looks like here, and I'm going to try and sell these for five dollars and see how much they sell. The, the interesting thing was, uh, you know, just getting the hang of the of the stirring. And in the machine here, there's these two little pegs that, that you don't want to put your hand in, and it can actually really hit your hand. So that's why the sticks have been very uh, helpful to go around and, and use the spinning uh, rotation is the best way for me to learn how to get all the cotton candy out and to quickly put it in these containers. So we'll see tomorrow when I set it up on my table uh, if over time if it'll shrink down i did a pretty good job of packing it in fully as much as i possibly could um and then eventually what i want to do is i want to have uh my graphic designer set up a label here for me and his and uh rather than the kettle corn label um i'll put a cotton candy label on them and i'll and i'll try to se separate the kettle corn with the cotton candy so that's about it folks uh thanks for watching uh please follow me on facebook and, and please subscribe on youtube any further questions, feel free to ask below. Uh, this will be a real test for the state of Maryland. It is where I'm uh, based out of. And the humidity is going to be a real test for me as well because I've already been battling that the last five years since I've been doing kettle corn. And with the sugar and the cotton candy, it's going to be um, an, a lateral transfer as far as what I can learn from this business. And so that's pretty much your biggest battle is, is the, keeping the quality the same in a food safe container. I like these because they're food safe. And then number two, the humidity. So again, folks, please like and subscribe. If you want to donate to my page, I have a link here for coffee.com and you can donate five bucks or buy me a cup of coffee. And thanks for following folks and have a good weekend.